One of the relationships between leadership and time is the fact that the leader must communicate with subordinates and that communication is crucial with an awareness of how each of the people perceive the time. People don't perceive time the same way. So therefore, as a leader, how I perceive time may not be the same as my subordinate. The idea of time enrichment is something that we need to address because time can be developed within ourselves and the perception of that time to where we can maximize its use or enrich it in the workplace to develop a relationship with others that makes the work productivity and the idea of working with someone much richer in terms of the perception of time. Let me share with you my concept of the difference between psychological and physical time. Physical time is a time we perceive in increments based on a clock, a measurement, hourglass, sundial, whatever it might be. We measure time with some device that allows us to see passing increments that we measure in minutes, seconds, hours, days, months. And those we can track on a linear basis. We have calendars, we have clocks, we track time. However, the psychological is time is different. Psychological time has no direct measurement in an incremental linear relationship like physical time. Psychological time is a perception of time that we internalize. It's how we see time in our frame of reference. Now that reference could be past orientation, present orientation, or future orientation. Let me explain some of the differences between past, present, and future orientation of time. Past orientation to time sees time as incremental passing of moments that have gone into the past, that are history, that we tend to organize our thoughts based on this, looking at the past and coordinating our thoughts based on what has happened. Past orientation is a very interesting perception that many people use in certain jobs. Present orientation to time is the here and the now. We're in the moment. These people love to manage crises. These people really take action at the moment and see themselves in a frame of time that is happening around them moment by moment in the present. And of course, the future orientation of time is those people who are visionaries. They see a what's called an event horizon something that they need to work toward. It's a goal orientation process of viewing time. Always something to do for the future. Have to look at the future in terms of expectations of tomorrow. What do I need to do tomorrow? How do I organize tomorrow? They even lose track of the present sometimes and they see tomorrow as much more important.